ਸਸਿਕਾਲ ਔਰ ਅਦਾ ਵਾਇਸ ਆਫ ਪਾਇਰੇਟ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਔਰ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ ਚਾਰ ਦੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਆਪਕੋ ਹਮ ਉਹ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਸੇ ਮਿਲਵਾਏ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਕੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਬਹੁਤ ਐਕਟਿਵਲੀ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਹਮ ਲੋਕ ਇਵੈਂਟਸ ਕੋ ਕਵਰ ਕਰੇਂਗੇ ਸੈਲਿਬ੍ਰਿਟੀ ਸੇ ਆਪਕੋ ਮਿਲਵਾਏਂਗੇ ਔਰ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਲੀਡਰਸ ਸੇ ਬਾਤਚੀਤ ਕਰੇਂਗੇ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਇੱਕ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਮਲਟੀਕਲਚਰ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਹਮ ਲੋਕ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਅਭੀ ਵੀ ਹਮ ਲੋਕ ਆਪਣੀ ਆਪਣੀ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਕੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਹੀ ਇਨਵੋਲਵਡ ਹੈ ਹਮ ਲੋਕ ਆਪਣੀ ਮਲਟੀਕਲਚਰ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀਜ਼ ਕੇ ਸਾਥ ਮਿਲ ਕੇ ਕੰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਅਭੀ ਵੀ ਹਮਾਰੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਹੈ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ ਚਾਰ ਔਰ ਦਿ ਵਰਸ ਆਫ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਕੀ ਤਰਫ ਸੇ ਕਿ ਹਮ ਆਪਕੋ ਮਿਲਵਾਏ ਔਰ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀਜ਼ ਕੇ ਸਾਥ ਉਹ ਲੋਕ ਐਕਟਿਵਲੀ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਕੰਮ ਕਰੇ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਕੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਉਹਨ ਸੇ ਵੀ ਬਾਤਚੀਤ ਕਰੇ ਉਹਨ ਸੇ ਵੀ ਜਾਣੇ ਆਜ ਕੇ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਮਹਿਮਾਨ ਨਾਈਜੀਰੀਆ ਸੇ ਹੈ ਜਿਨਸੇ ਕਿ ਆਪਕੋ ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊਸ ਕਰਾਏਂਗੇ ਔਰ ਉਹਨਕੇ ਇਵੈਂਟਸ ਕੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਮੇਂ ਬਾਤਚੀਤ ਕਰੇਂਗੇ ਮਿਲਤੇ ਹੈ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਗੈਸਟ ਸੇ ਆਜ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਮਹਿਮਾਨ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਨਾਈਜੀਰੀਆ ਸੇ ਆਏ ਹੈ ਉਹਨ ਸੇ ਆਪਕੀ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਕਰਾਤੇ ਹੈ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਦਿਸ ਸ਼ੋ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗ ਆਈ ਵੁਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਹੈਵ ਯੋਰ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਸੋ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਿਊਸ ਯੂਰਸੈਲਫ ਟੂ ਆਰ ਆਡੀਅנס ਔਰ ਯੂਰਸ ਮਾਈ ਨੇਮ ਇਸ ਰੈਵਰੈਂਡ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗ ਆਚਾਈ the founder and ceo of glorious men of wonders in canada and uh, i am from nigeria i have been in canada for the past 16 years i am married to mr jai and i have four kids wonderful kids um i'm just uh, loving being in canada and these are my my guests here today uh, yeah doing good <laughs> That's great blessing. So blessing can you introduce your guest as well? Okay. At my right is uh, Dr. Kenneth Jama. He is uh, from Liberia. Okay. He's one of our assistants also in our organization Glorious Men of Wonders. We are all working together to make things happen in Canada, in Brampton, in our community. Um at my uh, right hand my left hand <laughs> is a, a blessing uh, two blessings we are two yes. blessings she so actually she... comes from the U- united kingdom mm-hmm. to attend our wonderful community programs that we just hosted last saturday and uh, also following up with the uh, heritage month which is our community celebration in canada in brampton specifically So uh she's been here we've been playing around you know portraying and showcasing our culture and traditional art and culture uh heritage here in, in the city of Brampton. So we are here with the Voice of Canada for another interview today. Hope everything works fine. Yes. And we are blessed to be here. Great. All right. So there are two different things that we are going to be talking today. with blessings both the blessings like me <laughs> the first one is a very successful event that blessing with glorious women of wonder organized at gala night here in brampton so first actually thing, this this is that's right beautiful magazine they came out uh, on that occasion so blessing we would like to know more about glorious women of wonder first actually glorious women of wonder um is is an organization that i form out of the uh, leading of the holy spirit that motivated me to gather women in prayers you know i'm a, i'm a i'm a business woman so god knows the way to catch me up when he wanted to send me on an errand and yes. that errand is to gather women together and encourage and empower them you know but the best way god did it was to encourage me to gather them through prayers because knowing that many women have so much pro- problems and body so i obeyed and i get them together mentoring helping reaching out to the less privileged through starting with the non immigrant non immigrant refugees you know helping them discovering their problems and bodies so that was how we started and then from there we now went into helping the community doing a program initiative you know and um, going reaching out to so many people so that's how we came to where we are but our our purpose is to empower women through charitable works community development program and initiative while demonstrating god love to humanity so it's all about love diversity you know reaching out to as many people our mission is to inspire women and people of all ethnicity religion and social status to become leaders and agent of change in the community why mobilizing group of people for charitable work that's actually what we do we mix up with everyone you know showing love of god and demonstrating the love that we have through giving 
through uh, uh, humanitarian services, through many channels that we impact and uh, bring good good way to our community. Wonderful. And it's great. You have a wonderful mission. And I have seen that you are really involved in the community. I have seen you for working with women, with youth, with seniors, a lot of community events that you have been doing. So tell us something about the gala, the first gala that you organized, how it all started. Uh, OK. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. You don't want to know because, trust me, I have a lion heart. I don't know how I did that. But the first gala we started in 2016 started by um, out of gratitude, out of appreciation. Because for the past five, four years then, I, I do travel to other countries uh, for a Blessed Mission Foundation, mm -hmm. helping communities in other countries. So one of the years, I came back successfully from Ghana and it was a very successful mission. We went to the prison of energies, uh, uh, blind association helping the blind uh, seniors and the widows. You know, the, the, everything that came up from that event blows me out. And apart from that, we run almost 10 programs in the city of Brampton successfully. I didn't even know how uh, we were able to do that, right? So when we came back and I said, no, this is what to just thank God for the by bringing people together and just celebrating and also for the volunteers and the sponsors and partners you know as little as they have tried to support it's good to acknowledge them so we yes. stage this program and then call people together you know and then we acknowledge them and we also decided to celebrate the end of year hoping that god has given us a gift which is our lord jesus christ according to my faith and we invite people, there was a lot of turn up, people would love the program. And then the following year, we now say, okay, you know what? Let us look into the community, invite people that are doing amazing work and acknowledge them, you know? And then that was how it started. Not till this time, we've been consistently doing it for the past four years. And every year, it's just like massive. Every year, it goes higher. That's this right. year is another year that was so much, you know, we just thank God for everything. Wonderful. And luckily, I was a part of this year event. I missed it last year, but this year I was a part of the event and I would say that it was wonderful, very successful event. And the best part, that uh, blessing I like to share with our viewers also is that it was in true sense a diverse audience. It was a true, in true sense a diverse award winners. So I really appreciate and really congratulate you <laughs> for bringing everybody together on one platform. So it was wonderful. So how do you choose the award winners? Do you have a nomination or how do you go about oh it? Oh my God. You know, working with the community and with people out there, actually for the past few years, I actually don't need nomination because I never run out of the people I know that they are doing amazing things, especially the women. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of them. And I because as a counselor and a community ambassador leader, I work with people personally, I know them, I know their struggle, their commitment, their influence. You know, it's just, I don't look at the big stuff, I look at the within, like, okay, why don't I look into these people that are hidden, people don't know what they are doing, people don't bring them out, why don't I do that? So that's what I made my nomination. Um, assessing what is presently done by these people, like I said, it's about uh, recognizing great men and women that are doing amazing things, um, exceptional uh, uh, impact in the community and in the nation. And it's not limited to that, but also those that are well deserved, those that are doing amazing work, not just for their self-achievement, but those are looking to the less privileges people that I need, what can they do using their passion, their skill to be able to reach out to those that are nobody, those that are underprivileged, those are, that, that is the part that actually amazed me. And when I look at everybody that was choosing, 32 people that was awarded on Saturday, they have done amazing things. Some of them, they are single mothers, you know, despite their challenges, they strive, they are passionate in what they do, not just to themselves, they work also, but then doing amazing thing in our community. And also this year we added people, global people like she, 
my beloved friend blessing also she came from the united kingdom she's an, uh, an activist and an advocate for my community back home and she has brought a lot of development and initiatives collaboration you know a lot of things incentive to, the, to, to our uh, kingdom you know i saw what she was doing i said no i know you as a friend but this is too much that is good for you to be recognized she came all the way from the united states uh, united kingdom and people from the united states also even people from nigeria we are part of this and i also see that it's like all nationalities they were there that's right collectively you know not just people from canada you know we look forward for next year to do greater things sure as much as we want to do that great and as you mentioned another blessing was your <laughs> beloved friend was there and she was one of the award winners so tell us your experience blessing मेहमानों का नाम सुनते ही हम खातीन लगा देती है किचन की तरफ दौड़े मगर जो मेहमान हम आपके लिए ला रहे ये आपकी दौड़े नहीं लगाएंगे बल्कि आपको बिठाने के स्क्रीन के सामने और तो आप सुनेंगे बहुत मजे मजे की बातें जिसके अंदर कुछ प्रोफेशनल होंगी कुछ उनसे मजे की टैलेंटेड बातें होंगी जो कि आपके सामने लेके आ रहे हैं हम आपके लिए आपके घर आप देखेंगे उनको अपने टेलीविजन स्क्रीन पर बहुत जल्द बहुत सारे इनमान के साथ बहुत सारे सवालों के साथ और बहुत सारे बदलते हैं कुदरत के सब रंग सब ढंग बदलते हैं अंदाज एहसास बदलते हैं रास्ते बदलते हैं जमाने जी हाँ आ रहा हूं मैं एक ऐसी तब्दीली के साथ जिसमें होंगे जायके घर घर के और आप करेंगे मेरा इस्तेमाल अपने अंदाज में कैनेडियन कुकिंग प्रोस जायके घर घर के I know. It has been something that we have worked. I've always worked. I like giving out to people. I like to uh, uh, how to uh, bring development, how to sustain it, and all that. So uh, I raise funds for people. I reach out to the community, uh, to the widows, uh, to the youth, and all that promoting my culture. Um, I was on Facebook and all that. She said she has watched. She has watched me all this year, and she said yes, I merited the. the Award. And I was pleased when I came down, I came from UK, coming down here, just blew my mind. Wonderful. The environment, the people we had on Friday, there was uh, this uh, leadership environment. The speakers with, that came on that, uh, 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 on that program were powerful. That's right. It was so much, uh, uh, it was, I mean, 
I was I was blown blow my mind like you know we we came together we came from different uh, we are speaking about uh, 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 leadership yes and indeed as, as, as a leader community leader these are the events that you need to attend because the more you know about what people are doing the more you too you can learn from that exactly. and then on saturday the main event oh my god it was it was so i i, I met so many people people like you i yes. met the uh dr carlo mm -hmm. You are in the university. Mm -hmm. I, I, I took photo with him. I met uh, Mayor. Uh, the mayor. Yes. I took photo with the mayor. Yes. I met uh, Mr. Uh, Alex, Alex Yema, mm -hmm. one of the great speakers. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. You also speak on that program. That That's day. right. So, and I got one of his CD. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. He, he, uh, what, what, what program is it? International uh, School of School Greatness. Of Greatness yeah. So, he's somebody that I'm looking up to now. I don't know him before, but now he's one of <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. So the event was super. And so, so rightly said, it's getting an award is very inspiring yeah. because it motivates you to do to more. Do more. Yeah. So, and it's a wonderful initiative by Blessing that she's bringing all all different people from different nationalities, different communities on one platform, bringing them together. It's a big task. And, and I really say it again. See, let me tell you one thing. Yes, I tell people. You see, when you are being acknowledged, when you are being glorified, it doesn't just happen one day. I've done this for over a decade now, right from my pocket. Even this girl, I don't have any sponsors, but I committed looking at the, the, the goal, you know, the, 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 the goal, the, the vision on what to achieve, you know, the, 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 um, the vision of what I want to achieve, and I, I, I went for it by obedience. Not because I look into my pocket, but no, I look into the things that need to be done and the impact that is, is needed to be, make, to, uh, to be made, right? So um, it costs a lot. It oh, costs yes. commitment, yeah. obedience, sacrifice, all your time, money. I have to stay away from work for four months plus. Oh, yes. You know, just to commit to that. Why? Not only because I want to do such a program in the community of Brampton, which I always do, but also adding value to my uh, program and also to my community. You That's see what happened at the city of Brampton? We were honored greatly than never before. Oh, yes. You know, I don't know how we got there, but by working together and agreeing to do something amazing without looking back, we're able to achieve that result. Oh yes, you know God being on our side, it was successful, yeah. and I, I'm just very grateful. So I'm all, the next point now is to co encourage people. If I can give everything I have, empty my pocket, to entertain the community, nation, globally, to bring such awareness into the city of Brampton, I'm not a, a rich person, but I'm rich in the Lord, and. Um, why don't people that have this money support people like us so we can do more? I'm, I have the hunger to do more, but I need sponsors, I need partners as an organization, working with different organizations, collaborating, and bringing the beauty of, uh, of our community and the people that are inside our community so that we will see the future for our children, we will make the future for our children and make our environment a better place. So I, I am seeking for sponsorship, partners you know to partner with us so that we can make this very uh, uh, work uh, effective for other people to enjoy oh yes and i encourage our viewers that if you are motivated if you have a passion to support our community please feel free to reach out to blessing because she is doing a lot of community work i would like to have your opinion now because i know <laughs> organizing an event is a big task like as Blessing mentioned it was more than four months that you have to put your hours there and make an event which will be successful like this. So tell us your... Um, he was part of it. Was yeah, that's what I want to know because you were a part of the event. So definitely want to get your views. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's, uh, it was a great event. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, working with uh, a person like uh, Reverend Blessing is, is really challenging. That's right. I've never seen another uh, woman like this 
with passion, mm -hmm. commitment, <clears throat> and sacrifice. These are the attributes you need to succeed in our today's world. That's right. Our challenges. That's right. Yes. You know, I've been I've been working with her for, for months now, mm -hmm. right? For the diary, the therapy, and I, I see the passion in her mm -hmm. that we are already going to meet. Okay. And you know, um, actually, I think really making that event to be successful the way it was on Saturday, on Friday. Um, it needs something that is called extra sacrificial, no sponsorship, but That's she did it out of nothing, and she's so fulfilled, and it's amazing, and I feel very challenged, you know, <laughs> just by her side, and uh, it's, you know, she's the kind of woman that loves people, mm. wants to help. That's right. See beyond tradition, see beyond religion, and mm. the politics, and uh, you know, this thing, these factors doesn't distract her. It goes for humanity That's to right. get people, and that is what I've seen, and it's an amazing. And I, I, I really encourage our viewers, those who are out there, routing in, in the United States, in the United Kingdom, and in Canada, mm -hmm. Africa. Let us look forward That's to right. people like this in our society and That's encourage them. And I'm going to encourage people to encourage you. Yeah, whatever you can do, you may be a politician. This is not about politics. This is about people. somebody with a passion to help humanity. That's right. I agree with you. And you know what, honestly, the initiative that Blessing took four years ago, going out, out of country, out of Canada, and spreading the message of humanity, yeah. love for all. This is what all the religions have been doing. It's not limited to one religion. Every religion would say that, go for humanity, go for love, go for brotherhood. That's what all the religions will teach you. So it's great that you're spreading that message in our the last time we went, last year, we joined our outreach to the senior school. Wonderful. Where we got up for 160 um, uh, seniors. Yeah, you were, you were one of those. And, and, and you know, I have been uh, involved with her um, in uh, ministering, helping the seniors. Mm -hmm. And I see the passion in her to have that sweet fellowship, that space, that gap that is lacking. You know, it, it, she comes to that point to get them, you know, revived. Let them know that uh, we love these people. That's I right. just get them confined in their home. I've been working with her, dealing with uh, the youth. Of seniors, the youth, Good. and the women, and the community at large. That's right. And she the works tirelessly. I mean, I tirelessly. I so that you know, sometimes she will work from today Money. and to the next day. That's right. Like around one p, one day in the morning. In the office. In the office. Right. Right. <laughs> and sometimes she sits down on yeah. the computer and she gets so tired, her legs. And she says, Oh my God. So that she sleeps on and she wakes up again. I think, oh My God, what a burning passion. That's you right. <laughs> I agree with you 100% because I've seen blessing so passionate. Absolutely. Really always ready to help youth. She has been running workshops and programs for youth. I've seen her. I've seen her actually going to the long-term care center to seniors' homes and celebrating Christmas with them, spending time with them, treating them like as their own parents, Absolutely. as their own their mom and dad, as their own brothers and sisters. So she's been very helpful in the community, and I have seen that myself. And that is the reason I wanted to bring her here so that we can actually show her to our viewers that people like her are really making a difference in the community. Yeah, thank you. And we really appreciate your efforts, Blessing. Honestly, thank that's you. from my heart. That I, we really appreciate for what you're doing. You're doing a wonderful work in the community. I don't even know how and why. You know, for some reason, I have a story though. Um, you know, last year I was supporting Mayor Patrick Brown, mm -hmm. you know, to win the election, to become the mayor. That's and right. people ask me, oh, why are you supporting this? That? I said, I see this man that it's going to do amazing things. I just, I'm a spiritual leader, right? I, I know what is right spiritually too. And then I was passionate about supporting, you know, um, the, the election was because whatever I get in must work. Because I don't just go in, into anything just like that. I will have a direction. And once I say this one works, it must work. So passionately, uh, we, we, we had a victory. Yeah, you that's know. right. So what am I trying to say? Today we are enjoying the, the 
the, the, the city, the, the, the local government of our community. Why? Because we all work for it. We all contributed, not just for personal purpose, for the future of our children and for the betterment of the community where we live. And recently, this year also, October, we are also Glorious Men of Wonder, my teams, we supported um, uh, Kamakawa, the MP of Brampton West. Yes. I know a lot of people fought me. I say, you know what? Yeah. She is the right person. And I, I was directed to be a supporter as an um, African rep, uh, uh, representative. Okay. representative. Yes. So, uh, and it works. Mm -hmm. So, what am I trying to say? Um, not just because of who we are. I'm actually a spiritual leader. Mm -hmm. You know, apart from our initiative and community development that we do, we also need to support the leader that will lead our community, that will lead our future children, you know, that will be emulation for us to be able to make a good community. That's right. And I'm so glad that I, I got involved in those things, and uh, today we are, uh, we are where we are. Also supporting the councillors also. Because those are our future, that's right. future of our community, future of Canada, where we live. And I thank God that it was successful. So share something with us about the uh, uh, Nigerian special. Uh, oh. <laughs> that was acknowledged. Yes, that was acknowledged by city and mayor and the councillors. Oh, so share yes. that special experience with us and our viewers. Okay, that was so nice. You know. Um, uh, my sister always said that. My parents told me that when I was born, my, my, the whole governor, president of Nigeria, they celebrated my naming ceremony that when I was born, until I was growing up, I, they keep celebrating me in my family. And through me, that's why I'm called blessing. Uh, good things came to my family, to my dad. So, so what am I trying to say? Uh, it's my pleasure to be here. You know, in the community, I, I like to model my, my, my country, my heritage. At least look good and portray myself as a royal princess. Yes, you look like a princess today. <laughs> especially, like with your, <laughs> especially with all your beautiful jewelry like, and your outfits. Actually, yeah. You know, blessing being um, my, my old uh, friend, childhood friend, friend. Yes. and we bear the same name. We, we model the same way, you know. Yeah, it's a pleasure that uh, I am really very privileged, you know, like I said in the City Hall yesterday that, you know, it gladdens my heart that ever all these years that I, I, I commit my time and everything, my work tirelessly in the City of Brampton, um, I never knew a day like this would come so quick, but I knew God has a plan, you know, but the City Hall honoring my kingdom through my leading, my leadership, my initiative, it's just a joyful thing for me. And oh. it brings honor to my community. And it gives me the desire to even work more. That's right. Because they really gave us the honor, uh, not just because they gave us that, but the mayor being somebody, the city I've worked with, you know, they mention my name. And if my people know that, we're like, okay, this my daughter is really doing a great job. So uh, the heritage is, is, is a really, something that we want to showcase our culture, art and heritage, art, art and culture in a foreign land like a civilized country like Canada. That's right. Uh, you know, so we have so much uh, things to share in the community. Though I've been out of home for a long time, I don't really know much, <laughs> but I believe in, 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 in our community. I believe in my country, in my, in my kingdom, because they are kingdom where they love. We came from South South, uh, region of uh, Nigeria where the oil, the gas, oil and gas, gold and mining, you know, we are the richest uh, state in, in Nigeria. You know, Nigeria actually depends from our resources, right? So um, uh, we are treated like as the royal in, in Nigeria, though my, uh, my, we are minorities, um, no, what do they call that? Um, uh, marginalized uh, community. Yeah, but even then, uh, the spirit of a royal, royalty is runs in us. So um, I'm glad that uh, we had the opportunity to celebrate a Bayer Heritage Month in, uh, in the city of Brampton. And I know from now henceforth, people will be coming. Our king was supposed to come, yes. but something happened. He has to delegate people from uh, USA mm -hmm. to come and represent him. So right now, they are all ready for next year. 
Wonderful. Because this is a global, this is a community thing. The whole of my nationality, my the whole of my kingdom, they are aware of this. They are actually ready to come over for next year. So Canada, be ready. <laughs> I urge our viewers to visit Nigeria as they said the River State is one of the rich places in Nigeria and look at the beautiful outfit and the beautiful jewelry that these ladies are wearing so you'll get a chance to actually see more of this culture there and uh, blessing you both blessings actually yes <laughs> so they are and Dr. Kid <laughs> they have done wonderful work in the community and they are promoting and part of this culture as we all say that Canada is a multicultural country so it's very good to know about different cultures yeah. and when if we can share different food art and culture oh. that brings us together yes so that brings let us me together. come up there um, basically what we will be uh, what will be done during the program for my heritage month will be part of cultural uh, on uh, um, will be part of a, a cultural food okay. cultural, like Indian then I will invite you sure to come display your food okay and like where, we, which which the venue have a exhibition. Exhibition. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. This year or next year? Next year. Next year. Next year. Next year now. Sure. Oh. Coming from Africa. Yes. Coming from UK. Coming from uh, everywhere. Uh, Big events. And to come to Canada, to uh, Brighton, to raise this event. They're going to be staying in hotel. Yes. You see, you see, they're going to be eating. They're just Also because of this, we just discovered many of the players that are here. Canada. That's right. You know, coming. People around this area. So yeah. it's bringing all of them together. I'm That's you, wonderful. So wonderful. And next year, as Blessing <laughs> is saying, they're going to be having a big exhibition. Big exhibition, big event where they will be showing their food, art, and culture so that we get to know more about them. And you can even plan your trip to Nigeria, especially to River State. <laughs> sure. Yeah, and so I'm gonna take you there too. Right? Sure, that'll be a privilege. That'll be really nice. As we when we meet different people from different cultures, different countries, they always say that, oh, when we talk about India and they're like excited, oh I would love to go to India. I'm excited to go to Nigeria. <laughs> so we, we get to know each other well when we bring the culture together at one platform. It was great. Uh, blessing, what are the future plans? Just share with our viewers. What are you planning to do next year in 2020? 2020, my vision is very big. All I needed right now, every, you can see all the program that was said, the passion to do more is there. You know, but what is most important now is the support of those who can support, who, who are ready. We are a charity organization. We can give tax receipts. You know, we are out there already. Um, we just need those who are committed to support good works. You know, sometimes I realize that those that can do the work don't have the opportunity. You know, but those that cannot do have more opportunity. But right now, our, our, our work is, we, we, we have the passion, the zeal, burning desire to do more with, for the youth, to, for the senior, to do more for women, you know, for the outreach of uh, less underprivileged people. 
you know, one special thing about Glorious Men of Wonder organization is that we, we do what bigger organizations cannot really do because we go direct, personalize, you know, to know what area to help these people without them coming to us that we know who they are. We reach them at the point of need, at the point of their meeting. Not only that we do global outreach also, it's all about humanity, showing the love, uh, I mean, caring for people and also letting them to know that they are not alone. Their voice is our voice. You know, these are where the, 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 the work is, that is challenge for you to do that. We have worked selflessly as we here, you know, I think it's time, over a decade now, I think it's time that people are, are good, well people, good hearted people like you that is watching me right now, you know, to come out there and say, hey, we are here. I'm, this year I look forward, that's the major thing. This year I look forward for those that will say, hey, we've seen your good work. Go to Facebook, go to Twitter, go to uh, uh, social, media. social media, you know, just Google Glorious Men of Wonder or Blessing. Reverend Blessing Ajayi, you see the work we do international and in the local. I want to see good people that have a good heart that say, hey, I've seen the work you do, and this is where I'm coming to help. I'll tell you, we'll give you all the um, reports, record um, as, as needed. Um, that reminds me also, this year we, we are privileged to have sponsors, uh, grant sponsorship from the government of Canada, and we are looking forward for more. Um, that's just my future plan. Is we need the resources to be able to execute this work to be done. And we, right now, we need more than just a volunteer. We need staffs, staff that will be, that will be uh, paid so that they will deliver effective work. I, I hope I communicated. I think that's the major thing. We need the, res, this, the, the finance, the resources to be able to execute and establish the project that we have at, at hand this year for the youth for the seniors, for women, and to reach out to more underprivileged people through outreach for charitable works. Great. And it was great message that you have given to our viewers. So I can actually, I have witnessed what Blessing has been doing in the community. She is actively and passionately involved with youth, with seniors, with women in general. So she has been doing a lot of community work. And as you know, when you're doing a community work, you need some resources, as she rightly mentioned that. We would need volunteers to work, we would need grants, we would need sponsors, we would need people to come and support and attend the events. Because that's very important. You put together everything and then you want the audience and people who can really get a benefit out of it. So she's been working at a very grassroots level, I know. She has been meeting people personally, helping them, and doing great work. So we need to support community leaders like Reverend Blessing. So it was wonderful having you on board today with us. We could share a lot of information. Any message? OK, um, our, our contact the office, our office is, is, uh, is at uh, uh, 220 Rutherford Street in Brampton, Ontario. Unit 203. Our website is www.gloriouswomenofwonders.com. If you want to email, email at um, gwowcharity at gmail.com. So when you contact us, our, our phone number is 905 435 5526. Or 647-403-4526. That's Be wonderful. Glad to hear from you. That's wonderful. And if you want to reach out, you can reach out to Ble Reverend Blessing, and uh, they have a wonderful organization, Glorious Women of uh, Wonders. So you can reach out to them and be a part of this organization who is doing a lot of work, a lot of charity work in the community. And it's great to have you, Blessing, here from United Kingdom. I was so blessed today. I met. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, office, and she gave me this certificate. Wonderful. So, Kamal, MP Kamal Khera gave a uh, very beautiful, <laughs> yes, wonderful. Uh, Let me show this. This is the magazine. Magazine, yes. And MP Kamal Khera gave a very nice uh, recognition to blessing. Yes. And it says, Kamal Khera MP, on behalf of Government of Canada, I would like to extend my warmest congratulations to blessing on receiving the Community Development Award at 
this year's glorious Women of Wonders Gala. I wish you many more years of success. Wow. Wonderful. Wow. Signed by Kamal Khaira. So it was great. It was such a privilege to meet the MP, Member of Parliament here. And congratulations, Blessing. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. And great to have be a part of this. And this so was a special uh, magazine, magazine that was brought out on the occasion of the gala that uh, glorious Women of Wonders were did just this weekend. It was great to be a part of this organization. Wonderful event, recognize so many women who have done outstanding work in the community and great that blessing was a part of the award, part of the award winners. <laughs> yeah, and you can get the copy of this magazine from uh, Glorious uh, Women of Wonders anytime. Wonderful initiative. Keep up the good work, uh, Reverend Blessing, and our support is with you all the time. Thank you so much for coming to the studio today. Thank you. And Studio Char and the Voice of Canada always like to support these type of events where you are connected with the community, where you are working together in a diverse multi Thank you very much for having us, TV Char. Have people from Nigerian community share their experience, share about their gala event which was so successful and the recognition at the city hall. So I hope you enjoyed the show today and our purpose at The Voice of Canada and Studio Char is to bring our communities together, share all the local events, talk to the celebrities and the community leaders. Until next time. Uh